At times, some of the region's inhabitants have taken the law into their own hands, preventing other parties from campaigning and often intimidating supporters of other parties during any party-affiliated undertakings. One notable incident was reported where RDP and Swapo supporters squared off, prompting law enforcement to step in to defuse tensions. Such incidences are relegated to the past with no reports of political intimidation or any threats recorded in this year's campaign so far. Omsati Regional Police Commander hopes this will remain the case leading up to next week's regional and local elections and following announcements of the results. We are aware that uh, during the previous elections, Omsati Region have been constantly on the news uh, as to coming to the confrontations between political parties. Uh, but we are glad to indicate during the previous November elections and uh, this one, uh, we have uh, adopted a strategy where of consultation, engaging all political parties, bringing them together, so at least that uh, we see to it that our supporters, our members, conduct themselves in that manner, that the process is peaceful. This is a shared responsibility. Security is a shared responsibility. They should not leave this one up to the dump only. They have the responsibility to make sure that during their meetings, they urge and they advise their members to refrain from any kind of violence. The nation's political maturity is certainly being tested at present with the current elections, the most hotly contested in recent memory by the old guard, a number of new parties and 93 independent candidates. Ndapandashuya, NBC News, Otapi.